So Team Keep It Clean, thank you so much for 70,000 subscribers. I appreciate y'all just spreading the love and spreading that positivity on the channel and to other people because that helped it grow. Now, let, let's see how fast we can get to 71,000 subscribers. Now, before we get into this video, special shout out to my guy Herb who sent this Raven shirt all the way from Hawaii. This, this thing is fire, man. I really love it, so I appreciate you. Now, to get into this special episode of Questions from Subscribers, this bi-week edition of Questions from Subscribers. First question came from my guy, Nick Brick, who's a Team Keep It Clean patron. Man, I ain't, I ain't heard from you in a minute. I ain't heard from you in a long time, but hey, I, I'm glad to hear from you. I'm looking forward to this question, and ooh, we starting off with a banger. He said, Engraven, man, we haven't talked in a minute, but... You're going crazy these days, and I love watching it. <laughs> I mean, we, we've been crazy. <laughs> Something ain't right up here, and it ain't been right up there for a long time. But anyway, he said, congrats on baby number two. Wishing you all the best. Hey, I, I appreciate that. He said, real quick, on my question, I know Ronnie Stanley has been injured, but could part of the struggle be that he's just not a fit for the new scheme? Is it possible that he's never really been that consistent of a pass blocker, and now he's being exposed with increased pass reps? Oh, my goodness. Wow. Initially, when I first read it and read it, it's like, hmm, what's he get? But then when you say it out loud, it's like, hold up. I never thought about that like that before. And that is a real possibility because he has been hurt. He has been dealing with injuries and whatnot. So that could be it. But at the same time, when you think about it, like my guy Nick Brick is putting it, well, he's asking a real question about Ronnie Stanley. And that's something that is scary to think about. Just just that even being a possibility. Now, y'all that watch him at Notre Dame will know a lot more than I would. And those of y'all who are real film X and O's experts and whatnot. But again, I, I, I've said it a couple days ago. Like, to see that Ronnie Stanley is struggling, you ain't even got to be no X and O's expert. You ain't, ain't got to be no super film guy, nothing like that. Like, you, you can see it. You can see it. Uh, us casuals, we, we, we can see it that Ronnie Stanley... He's struggling big time. And and we've talked about this throughout the season. There have been these moments, like especially in these clutch moments. And Lamar, people say, oh, man, Lamar fumbled, he fumbled, he fumbled. Yeah, the fumbles, they go on him. But not all of them are Lamar Jackson's fault. And we've seen plenty of time where Ronnie Stanley, a lot of times he'll get pushed right back into Lamar. Like there was one play. Oh, I forgot what game it was. But there's a, Ronnie Stanley been getting pushed back all year. But there was one play where – I thought, like, when I saw the highlight of the play, initially I thought, I'm like, man, what's Lamar doing? He's just playing around because he had he was throwing a pass. I think it was a touchdown pass that he threw, I want to say, to Mark Andrews, I think. But anyway, he threw a touchdown pass. It was in the red zone. He threw the pass, but when he threw the pass, he, like, kicked his left leg up. And I'm like, what is this dude doing? Why would he kick his leg up like that? I'm like, man, he, this dude played too much. Lamar Jackson be playing too much. But then after watching that same highlight over and over and over and over and over again, and somebody had pointed it out, because I had put it on Twitter, but somebody pointed it out. They were like, the reason that he kicked his leg up like that, he wasn't playing. He was trying to avoid Ronnie Stanley running into it or getting pushed back into it. Because Ronnie Stanley, on that play, he was getting pushed back, and he went right to Lamar's leg. So Lamar, while he's throwing the ball, and it was an accurate pass too, while he's throwing the ball, he throws it, and, and he kicks his left leg up at the same time. I'm like, man, I don't know how he did that. He is Houdini. That, that was one of them plays like that where it was just something crazy, but... Yeah, man, I, I I don't know what it is with Ronnie Stanley. It 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 just it's been bad, man. And, and things things have just ever since that injury, man. Things have never been the same. But you do make a really good point, and that is a really really good question because yeah, Raven's scheme has definitely changed. I know a lot of people said the same thing about uh, Orlando Brown Jr. They were like, oh, when he goes to the Chiefs, they're gonna be passing more, so he ain't that good. But I, I, at the same time, I'm like I, I know how Ravens fans are. Really fans of any team, they do that like when when a player goes to another team, especially the way that he went to another team. Like he <laughs> I'm a left tackle and all that stuff and, and the fact that there was that animosity, a bit of animosity between him and the Ravens. The fact that when, when he came out with that um that that not that letter, but it was an article where uh he talked about it. He's like, Oh yeah, I wanna play left tackle and I'm like, Hey, look, go get your bread, man. I I, I will never have a problem with a player getting their money. He gave all these different reasons for why he felt like he was a left tackle, wanted to be a left tackle. He said he wanted to honor his father. And I, okay, I respect that. But I, I really think it was about him trying to get, this, get his money because left tackles get paid more than right tackles do. Right tackles still make a good amount of money. But left tackles, they get paid more because that's traditionally protecting a quarterback's blind side. Unless the quarterback's left-handed. But anyway, um, 
So, but a lot of Ravens fans were like, oh, man, he's going to get exposed because he ain't really no left tackle like that because it's going to be a different scheme. It's going to be more passing because uh, they always talk about how a, a run-heavy scheme, and Ravens still are run-heavy scheme, but they have implemented a lot more passing. But they always talk about how a run-heavy scheme is a, an offensive lineman's dream because you're just downfield blocking. That's it, just downfield blocking. But you got to think about it, too. As an offensive lineman, it's a much harder game, uh, passing game versus the run game because run game, you just downfield blocking. Go find somebody, lay them out. But pass blocking, you got to wait. You, you got to wait. They coming to you. They rushing to you. They doing their stunts and whatnot. They trying to do their bull rush. They trying to do their swim. They trying to do all that stuff to get past you. And you got to be that protection for your quarterback. This year, uh, Ronnie Stanley has struggled a lot of times to be uh, Lamar Jackson's protector. John Harbaugh even talked about how Ronnie Stanley is hurt. He said he's been dealing with knee and ankle issues. Oh, you know who the last person that Harbaugh said that about? They're not even playing right now. They haven't played since. That's David Ajabo. So the fact that Ronnie Stanley is still playing, that's amazing because you know Ronnie Stanley has missed a significant amount of time over the years. Um, so the fact that he's still out there, hey, shout out to him. But that's just something to monitor uh, moving forward. But that is just an amazing uh, question. I hope it's not right. But it is something to consider. Um, he said, uh, my follow-up to that is if both tackles continue to play like they did on Sunday against the Chargers, could Makari take someone's job? He's had his own share of struggles, but nothing like Ronnie Stanley this season. That's another really good – man, what, why you got to start off so fire like this? Oh, man. Like, we didn't even get to another, the second, third question of the night. You starting off like this. Calm down, Nick. Relax. But anyway – um, that's, I mean, that's what he's there for. Pat McCarry is the ultimate stay ready so you ain't got to get ready player because he can literally play all five positions on the offensive line. He has played all five positions on the offensive line, all of them. Um, and he's a, a, an excellent fill in and he's somebody that can start and has started and has plenty of starting experience. Due to injuries But again That's what you're the sixth man for That's what the sixth man Come off in the bench come, Coming off the bench In basketball too You are there to To just be ready Stay ready So you ain't gotta get ready So that is A real possibility too Pat McCarry coming But can he take Somebody's job <sighs> I don't see Ravens Benching Ronnie Stanley Um I don't see them. The, the only The only way I see Pat McCarry Starting over Ronnie Stanley Would, would just be If they Ryan Sandy ended up getting hurt and they put him on IR or getting hurt even more and they put him on IR or something like that. I don't see them having Ronnie Stanley on the bench. I, I just don't see that. Morgan Moses, I mean, mm, that, that's a really tough question. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, man, he got me stumped, man. Um, ah, it would just have to be all out kinds of bad, man. For them to do that Like I mean <laughs> It's been good But It would It would just have to be like Tragic To where like They just getting dogged All day Every day I know there's gonna be somebody That says Well hey They do get dogged All day every day But um So no I'm, 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 I'm gonna say They keep Pat McCurry On the bench For now Um I, I, I don't foresee him Taking one of their spots Especially Uh Ronnie Stanley though and he said, from my view, the Ronnie situation is really, really bad. He was getting beat so bad, the chippers couldn't even get a piece of the Russia. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. That's tough, man. And, yeah, they think about this, too, how crazy that game was, how uh, just tough that game was against the Chargers, and they didn't even have Joey Bosa. 